saint. Righteous bondage. Greetings to thee in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm making this video after just finishing two episodes of Brutal Doom. Uh, with that in mind, Doom deals with uh, some biblical themes such as hell and demonic creatures. I know that many gamers have no idea what the Bible says about these things, so I just wanted to make a video briefly going over what the Bible says about hell, devils, Satan, and so forth. If your knowledge of these things is limited to games and movies, then I encourage you to keep watching so that you might have a proper biblical perspective. Let's start with hell. In fiction, hell is often placed in another dimension or on a different plane of existence. However, hell is actually located in the heart of the earth beneath our feet. We know this because Jesus said, For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew 12.40 Acts 2.31 says, He, seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. And there you see Jesus was in hell after he died on the cross, now, it does not say anywhere that he suffered in hell. There is a false teaching that Jesus paid for our sins in hell, but the Bible is very clear that he paid for our sins on the cross. 1 Peter 4.1 says, For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh. When Jesus was in the heart of the earth, his body, his flesh, was taken off the cross and laid in a tomb. He did not suffer for us in hell. He suffered for us in flesh. Uh, Jesus went to the heart of the earth to get the keys of hell and of death, to preach to the spirits in prison, and lead captivity captive. To understand more about that, read Luke 16. Before Jesus paid for the sins of the world, when the Old Testament saints died, they went to a place called Paradise, or Abraham's bosom. Uh, this was a place located in the heart of the earth, uh, which is there no more. Most people have a good idea of what hell is, a place of fire and torment, a place where damned souls go to suffer. We're going to read verses to see exactly what the Bible says regarding hell. Matthew 25, 41 says, Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Hell is a place for those that are cursed, but Hell was never intended for mankind. It was prepared for the devil and his angels, and they know that very well as is evident when Jesus dealt with the devils in his day. Matthew 8, 28 and 29 says, And when he was come to the other side into the country of the Gergesians, there met him two possessed with devils, coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? Devils know there is a time appointed for them to be tormented. Mark 5, 7 and 8 says, And cried with a loud voice, and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God, that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Devils are also called unclean spirits. Luke 8, 28, When he saw Jesus, he cried out, and fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God Most High? I beseech thee, torment me not. Here a devil is beseeching Jesus to beseech us to beg that he doesn't torment him. Jesus Christ clearly demonstrated power over devils, and they feared him. James 2.19 says, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Uh, the exception to this is Satan, for he was made without fear. Job 41.33 says, Upon earth there is not his like, who is made without fear. Jude 1 6 says, And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. 2 Peter 2 4 says, For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Angels that sinned, those devils that rebelled against God, have an appointed day of torment. The Lord even has some chained up right now. Unclean spirits do not want to be in hell. Uh, in most fiction, the devil is depicted sitting on a throne ruling over hell, but 
you may be surprised to find that the devil is not in hell. 1 Peter 5.8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So Satan is walking around uh, the earth looking to devour people. Job 1.7 says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Hell is not a place that Satan wants to be. It's a place of torment prepared for him by God. And Satan has but a short time until he will be bound in hell, as it says in Revelation 22 and 3. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal about him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. If it's not clear to you already, the one you need to fear is God, not devils or Satan. Matthew 10.28 says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Proverbs 1 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 9 10 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. You haven't even begun in knowledge and wisdom if you don't fear God, and you're going to end up in hell if you don't learn to fear the Lord. Have you ever heard the song Amazing Grace? It goes, "'Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed." Finally, hell is a place of everlasting fire. Jesus said three times, "'Where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched.'" Jesus spoke of a man that died and went to hell. Luke 16, 22 through 24, "'And it came to pass that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died, and was buried, and in hell he lift up his eyes being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Here is a man that is conscious after death, and is tormented in flames. He is burning, but he is not consumed with eternal punishment. And God's anger kindles the fire of hell. Isaiah 30, 27 says, Behold, the name of the Lord cometh from far, burning with his anger, and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignation, and his tongue as a devouring fire. For Tophet, that's another word for hell, is ordained of old, yea, for the king it is prepared. He hath made it deep and large, the pile thereof is fire and much wood. The breath of the Lord, like a stream of brimstone, doth kindle it, for our God is a consuming fire. If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord? So how does one escape the damnation of hell? Perhaps a better question, why do people end up in hell in the first place? People end up in hell because of their sin. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Psalm 9.17 says, The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. We're all sinners, we all deserve hell. Uh, the Lord is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. God does not want anyone to perish, and he takes no pleasure in the wicked dying. So what has he done to keep sinners out of hell? God stepped into time and became man, the Lord Jesus Christ, born of a virgin. Matthew 121 says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus Christ lived a perfect sinless life 
and died on the cross to pay for our sins. He was then buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Anyone that believes the gospel and puts their faith and trust in Jesus Christ will be saved and have their sins forgiven. Anyone that rejects the Lord Jesus Christ will have to pay for their own sin in hell. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. So you have two options. Pay for your own sin in hell, or trust Jesus Christ as your Savior. I would suggest that you trust Jesus Christ today by faith, and receive his free gift of eternal life, forgiveness of sins, and a home in heaven. Because if you end up in hell, it will be because you wanted to go. I don't want you to go to hell, and God doesn't want you to go to hell. And he has made salvation full and free. I hope that quick study made clear what the Bible teaches about uh, devils and Satan and hell and those subjects. And, of course, salvation. And it's by grace. It's uh, not anything you can earn. It's not by your own righteousness. It's by uh, trusting Jesus Christ and what he did uh, on the cross of Calvary and in, in his resurrection. And so, thanks for watching, and until next time, may the Lord be with thee.